Well, hey everyone, it's me here at Kimmel, back here with another video. I am about to get serious and start trimming out the windows here in my house edition. But before I do that, I wanna shoot out a video here about my a bandolier carpenter's tool belt. Now, you have maybe never heard of a bandolier carpenter's tool belt, and if you haven't, well, join the club. I never heard of one either. I've never seen one. I'm sure someone in history has made a bandolier tool belt, but I've never seen it, never heard about it. I had to make this because it has been in my brain for years, and I'm getting up there. And I'll be 66 in a couple of months, and I decided I gotta get this done. If I'm ever gonna do this, I gotta do it. So that's the story. And you know, that's the way life goes. You think about things when you're younger, and then when you get older and you have a little bit more time and a little bit more money, well, then you do those things. Well, I, I don't have any uh, more time, it seems, but I do have a little bit more money, so I could afford to spend it on this. It's, it's cheaper than uh, you know buying a 68 Camaro or hiking in the Himalayas or other things that people always dream about doing and then do when they get older. Yeah, no, I just wanted to make a, a bandolier carpenter's tool belt. Before I proceed any further, it has just occurred to me that I need to explain, for those who don't already know, what a bandolier is. And a bandolier is a strap that goes over the shoulder, down across the back, and diagonally across the body, and bandoliers carry ammunition. This man right here, Pancho Villa, the Mexican bandito, he made bandoliers famous. He's wearing two bandoliers in this photo. Now before I show you the bandolier tool belt that I made, I need to show you a couple of other tool belts just to give you some perspective. If you've watched my videos, you've seen this Occidental tool belt. This is an old one. I used this for decades. I bought it in the late 80s, or early 90s. It was a lot of money, but it was worth it. Occidental leather, a great tool belt. But there's one problem with this tool belt that is not uh, a problem for everybody, it's a problem for me. I have no hips, okay? I was born without hips. Uh, and it helps to have hips if you're going to put a belt on with a lot of heavy tools in it. Now, yes, I have had suspenders, uh, not the expensive leather ones, but I had other suspenders. I used those for years. But this tool belt here, as much as I have loved it and used it so much, was a tool belt that I thought, maybe I better just hang this up when I started this house edition uh, almost six years ago now. And I thought to myself, I'm going to buy another Occidental leather tool belt, but not the leather one. So new project, big project. House edition, I need a new tool belt. I need something that'll be good for me in my old age, something that will work without hips, you know what I mean? So I bought this. This is an Occidental leather uh, harness tool belt vest sort of thing. It's well made, there's not much leather on it, but it's got this Cordura, is that what they call it? It's well made, it's a nice tool belt in its quality. But it's, uh, it's just too much. I used it, uh, I gave it a try. It's, it, it's hot in the, in the summer, and it's, uh, it's made to carry a lot of tools. And at this point, I don't need to carry a lot of tools. I need something that's a little lighter in weight. This, uh, you know, I don't wanna criticize this too much because it, it is a well-made tool belt, and it will carry a lot of tools. And earlier in my career, this would have been a good belt. I would have been happy with this. So that's the story on this. And I, I don't even want to think about what I paid for this. Now, finally, we're going to get to that bandolier carpenter's tool belt. And this is it right here. This is how you put it on. And it's quite lightweight. And I have a, a band here that's uh, pretty good on the shoulders but uh, I also have a little bit of wool. I have a patch of wool that I could put up here on my shoulder. But this is generally uh, light enough that it's not a problem on my shoulder um, based on the little bit of uh, time that I've used it so far. I have different uh, places for tools and uh, here, and I have a, uh, some of you may recognize this hammer up a handle up, I should say, a hammer holder. I figured, boy, I better incorporate that into that. I made that and I 
I do like it, so why not use that? So let me just show you where a few tools would go on this. The, uh, the knife, the utility knife, goes right there. In and out, real easy, right there. I'm right-handed, so it's, it's right there. I gotta get used to where things are, but in time, I'll be able to just put that stuff back in place without uh, looking. I've got a three-quarter inch chisel, which will be all I really need uh, for most chisel purposes. That fits right there. The handle up uh, hammer holder will hold my hammer. But when I trim out these windows, I'm gonna use an air nailer and I may not need this hammer, okay? So there's other things that can go into that spot. Oh, we'll, we'll put that there for now. The um, Whizbang Carpenter Square, the PVC square that I uh, made a video about a couple, three years ago, I will be using that to trim out these windows as I showed in that video. And I, I can put that in right next to the hammer right there where it's convenient, okay? The next thing that is the tape measure. Okay, now the tape measure I always kept over here. And I, I'm gonna show you there is a way to keep it over here. Not clipped, because that's just too time consuming to clip that on and take it off and reclip it. Um, I used to have on the Occidental leather belt I had a little pocket and that always went right back in that pocket and I could pull it out, okay? So I'm still working on that here. It actually clips onto the, uh, the Whizbang Carpenters PVC square really well. You see that? That's, uh, that's not a bad spot. Or I have a, a place over here, a clip, a clip right there. So that's, I could probably get used to that. Even though it's a clip, that is a clip made by Hostelry, H-O-S, no, H-O-L-S-T-E-R-Y. They make some really good stuff. You're gonna see more of it here. But yeah, the tape measure, I'm still working on where that's gonna go. I've got a, a nail set right here. I have a little pocket over here for something. Maybe I could put my uh, Pickwick screwdriver in that. I don't know as I really need it there for trimming out these windows, but you know, there's a pocket there. Here's, by the way, is that Sweetheart uh, corner rounder tool. I have sharpened that for my trim work. That could go somewhere here. I have a slot here that it could slide into. So I may, as I'm doing these windows, trimming them out, I may need these uh, diagonal cutters right here. I may, uh, one of my two inch 16 gauge trim nails might not go in all the way. So I might have to snip it off and uh, then take that nail set and drive it over. That happens sometimes, so I have loops. I have loops, leather loops here that I can put uh, handled tools into, like that, all right? Also, I have a tighter loop down here. I could put that there, all right? There's, there's options. This is kind of a modular tool belt. There's options here. This magnet right here, made by the Holstelry Company. This magnet, I'm gonna put a link below to their site. This magnet is amazing. This magnet is almost too powerful. It'll hold anything you want to stick to it. Like my block plane, which I tend to use when trimming windows, it could go right there. And it's so strong that it's hard to get tools off of, okay? But it'll hold that block plane, no problem. It'll hold a frying pan. I saw that on, a, on an ad or something. Here's a, here's a little uh, nail puller uh, pry bar. It'll hold that there you're not gonna find a stronger magnet than that holstery magnet right there. Up above that, right here, I have a uh, Pro Hold, uh, who makes this? It's FastCap. Pa FastCap makes this magnet right here. And it had a strap. I think it's supposed to go on your wrist. But I attached it right here. And that's where the drill bits go. It, this, this thing is, that holstery magnet is too much for drill bits. But, and you know, driver bits, but this uh, fast cap little magnet is perfect for those smaller items. And they're right there, they're convenient. Now right here, we've got the, uh, what do we call that? Pencil Pull Pro, Pencil Pull Pro. I showed this in a previous video. I can, I'm not gonna lose my pencil because it's right there, okay? And yeah, I can, I got total control, total ability to everywhere my hand can go, I got reach and the pencil goes right back there. Is that beautiful or what? Holstery has these bags they make, these pouches. They got a little kangaroo on there. And they have a, 
fantastic clip. And the bag is so well made. And that could go over here on the belt. It could go here on my, on my pants pocket. And I could put that in there like that, the um, block plane. And, and uh, I could also, if I really wanted to keep this uh, convenient on my left side, like it used to be with the, tool, with the old tool belt, uh, I could do that. The, this pouch, check out holstery. You know, they're not paying me nothing for this. They just got some really neat stuff. Not cheap, but well made. It's made for pros, it's made to last. Oh, right here, your, the screw gun. This could go right there. It could go up here like this. You know, I've got these loops. You can clip it wherever you, is convenient for you. It can get clipped down here, okay? It could, it could ride right there uh, on that uh, PVC plastic, which is part of that, um, the, uh, the handle up, handle holder, handle up, handle holder. There's all kinds of options and it's, it's lightweight. I like it. I like it. I'm still in the testing process, but I'm liking this tool belt and the options that it provides. So like I said, it's a three inch leather strap, a very uh, substantial piece of leather. And I joined it uh, like that, like you see right there. And I used copper uh, rivets, which I bought on Amazon. They worked very well. This from here down, was the handle up handle holder that I showed in a previous video. I did add a little more leather to it to get to create these pockets. And here was uh, in here, this is, this is open. That's where I'll put, uh, I can put all kinds of tools in there. I can slide them right in there. Here you can see I have a back loop on the back side. That's actually behind me here. See that? So if I've got a tool that I don't uh, use a lot and I just, I want it, to be accessible, I can put it right on the back. Here you can see I've got a kind of a flat loop right here. And here I have the loops that I gave a little bit of airspace to for handles to go into. Here's that hostelry um, magnet, the amazing magnet. And that will come out of there. That's got a clip on it. See, we can take that right out of there like that. These clips are, they're, they hold, they're great clips. Here we have the fast cap, um, uh, magnet there, and here we have the, uh, the the pencil pro pull, the pencil pull pro, whatever they call that. The one thing on this that is not good is that it's not adjustable. It's it's a fixed size, and the little bit of, that I've used it, uh, I've come to the realization that I should have made this this belt here a little bit shorter. I'd like to bring this up uh, an inch maybe an inch and a half. That's a modification that I'll make. I'll probably slice, make a slice here, uh, overlap it a little, and uh, put, put copper rivets on it to get it up a little higher. It's not a critical thing. Everything else uh, is, I'm really happy with it. I said I had wool I, earlier for a pad on the shoulder up here. And uh, what I have is an old buffing a pad that's sheepskin. Sheepskin has wool, right? So anyway, yeah, uh, maybe I should uh, cut it down a little though to fit and that will be very comfortable on the shoulder. So there you go, my custom bandolier carpenter's tool belt inspired by Pancho Villa. And now I gotta get serious and get to work here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. This whiz bang PVC carpenter square also fits very conveniently right in the back pocket of my jeans. It's not a bad spot for it. And then, you know, you have full access to the handle up handle holder right there. Yeah, see that? See that? <laughs>